Alright everybody, and welcome back. Uh, we got more new buildings we can look at. I don't know what any of these things do, and I'm pretty sure the game is not going to explain much to me. Um, Mr. Furious Gamer did actually link to me... Ah, I keep forgetting how to use the X button for this stuff. Wait, that's not right. I have no idea where I've gotten now. Okay, I think we got this. Right, the X button goes back. And circle selects. Well, that's a great start to the video, isn't it? It's gonna be a good day. I think I came in here before. I remember seeing this place before. But apparently there's dialogue here. And a creepy elf lady. Who looks like she belongs in The Shining. I don't know. Looks like they have a boiler in the background or something. And maybe they cook people, I don't know. I wish this game got brought over to the U.S. so much. But anyway, as I was saying, a uh, Mr. Furious Gamer actually sent me a link to um, a guide, basically, for this game, and I've been reading it a little bit. I have a terrible memory, though, so... And I can't read Japanese, so I'm relying on Google Translate to kind of get the, the gist of what this site actually says, so... <laughs> you guys know how Google Translate is. It's kind of iffy sometimes. So I'm doing the best I can to try and get this at least semi-coherent. But this isn't an LP, as I mentioned, so I'm just kind of messing around. I want to see some more of this game myself, so... Ugh. Well, we've encountered our first creepy NPC for the video. I don't even know what to say about him, though. He just looks like he touches children. That's all I can say. But looks aren't everything. Alright, um... I really have no idea what this is. I have no idea what they're selling here. And that's to exit, apparently. What else could it be? Ah, there's more dialogue! I cannot get this game to run smoothly. We're getting talked, by, talked to by uh, two of the same thing, apparently. I have no idea what, though. I cannot get this game to run smoothly, and I have no idea why. I'm having to use an old version of PCSX to even get this to work, because in the newest version, it just doesn't, and I don't really know why. As you enter the building, you notice that the door is locked. You decide to return to the dungeon. But then the dungeon is locked as well. You decide to go play something else. Oh no, they open the door for you. It's Vigors 2.0! Well, actually, this would be classic Vigors shop, because this is a prequel. Hi, Costa. I'm glad you made it into this game. I don't understand you anymore, but it's nice to see a friendly face. Am I the one who finds the orcs in this game absolutely adorable? I mean, they're ugly as hell, but they're adorable. They're so ugly, they're adorable. I don't know, maybe it's just me. And look, you got a little orc in the background, he's picking up some box. And he's like, carrying it around. Yeah, they still got porno music in here, so... Okay, this is... Oh, he's still dead. I don't think I can bring him back either. I don't think I have enough money for it. Alright, this must be... Selling stuff, maybe? I don't really want to sell any of this because I don't know what it is. I probably will never know what it is, though. And... I don't know what that is either. <laughs> I'm a mess. Right. Now, oh, another new place. Duhan is apparently a lot more lively these days. An intense, meaningful moment in the fountain when the knight realizes throwing pennies into it does nothing. Mm. 
I wish this entire town would just be cold. Uh, you have a frontal lobe problem, I see. Well, that's unfortunate. Look, I'm sure you're a nice girl, but we have stuff to do. What? What, what? I don't want to buy anything from you. Damn children. Want my money. Okay, apparently there's nothing else to do here. Okay, I'm pretty sure we don't have enough money to revive our, our uh, mage. Uh, I'd like to try again, but I think we already did, like at the end of the last video, and we just don't have enough money to bring the, the mage back. So, we're gonna have to explore the dungeon to get enough money to revive our friend. And I need 500 something for that, so... If we make anyone new at the guild, I think, I don't know if I've tried this already, I don't believe that I have. We really need a more full party, though. Is this the guild? I think this was the guild. We're gonna go find out. Alright, this is the guild. So, we got... me, the very funny looking dwarf. Her, I'm guessing that's the knight. I really can't tell. I think that's the knight, though. No, no, that's not, that's a fighter. This guy is a fighter, a mage, and a priest, and a priest. And we have, oh yeah, maybe it's just the roster. Maybe none of these guys are in our party. I don't know. Um, no, I'd like to get a priest in the party. Whoop. Good priest, good priest. I don't know what the difference between these people are. And we can add her to the party. I don't know what I just did. Yeah. I'm just hitting buttons, guys. I don't know what I'm doing here. What? Wait, 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 wait. Turn back, please, guys. It's the f he just... Okay. Uh, okay, that's it. I'm not arguing with this. I'm not arguing with this anymore. Alright, we got some priests in the party. We got three priests in the party. <laughs> Apparently that's a little bit... Okay, that's overkill. We don't need three priests in the party. I'm trying to remember what these symbols look like so I know what to get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of the, the 16, because, uh... 16. We don't need no 16ers in the party. Alright, this is a 16er that we don't want anymore, so... Let's, uh... I don't want to change your name. Well, maybe I do, but not right now. No! No, 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 no! I'm done. I'm done with this naming business. I'm not your mom. I don't pick your name. Alright, um... Okay, that's stats and, and stuff. Oh, lordy. I've already gotten myself into stuff. I don't know what I'm doing. What? Okay. We're gonna get through this. Maybe, uh... I don't know what I just did either. I didn't get her out of the party, though. And she exploded. LEAVE MY PARTY! NO! Uh, how about this? How about this? How about this? How about... Okay, I think that's, that's it. <laughs> Actually, I don't know how to get you out of my party. Please leave my party. I'll give you a dollar if you leave my party. Alright, let's make a new guy. Um, what are we gonna call our new guy? Hmm. I'm gonna name him... Nothing. Apparently. So I'm gonna make this kind of a melee character that can stand in the front lines. At least decently. And I'm gonna name him... God damn it! I'm used to everything being on the X button. Still. Still used to that. I'm gonna name him... Roger. Because all good names are names that sound like Roger. That doesn't even make sense. And Roger's gonna be a girl. And... 
gonna be a girl dwarf. And Roger's gonna be a girl dwarf. Who is good. And who has better stats than that. No, 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 no. Okay, if we go back to 10, I'm just gonna take 10 because I'm impatient. 12! Much better. Fighter, I'm guessing. We'll go with that. Buff up the strength and the other stuff that's kind of high. And this, I don't know what that is, but we're gonna go with it. Alright. That works. So we got McRogerson in the party. I don't want to add them to the party. Oh, oh, oh. Um, okay, I think I just replaced... Yeah, um, that's asking me who I want to replace. These guys are the pre... Yeah, these are the pre-built NPCs. Apparently that's what our priest, our mage looks like. That explains a lot. Our priest is the, uh, funny person. And the knight is the... yes. So, um, Roger and me, and the priest lady that I somehow hired a few seconds ago. Um, I kind of want to replace her with a rogue, because a rogue's nice to have. So I think I'm going to make a rogue real quick. i go with a rogue. And who can we have for our rogue? I'm going to name the rogue... Ozzy. Because why the hell not? Ozzy... Ozzy the gnome. Ozzy the halfling. We'll go with the halfling. Uh, I don't know which one of these is the rogue. Um... Somehow I don't think that's a rogue. <laughs> Maybe this is the class. Oh, fuck if I know. <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't even know what I... Okay, attribute. I should probably pay attention. Class and parameter. This is probably rogue because it's making dex go higher. Ugh. And the frame rate died. Alright, and welcome back. I kept cycling that till I got 11, and hopefully the frame rate's not gonna die because I don't really feel like restarting the computer to do this. Alright, I'm gonna pump up the dex. This motherfucker's going first every round until he dies. Um, probably boost up health a little bit. I think that's health. No, that's not health. What am I doing? That must be health. I have no idea what I boosted up on the other character then. Mage! I don't want a mage. Damn it. <sighs> Alright, guys, we're still doing this. We still got work to do. Ten! That's good enough for me. Okay, this is probably rogue then. It has to be. No, it doesn't have to be. That's probably intelligence then, I guess. Uh... I don't really need that. Um... Boost those up to ten and just focus the rest of it in dex. Priest! Blah, blah, blah. Uh... No... You know, I don't care. <laughs> I want my priest lady back. We're just gonna stick with that for now. Sure. I'm just gonna keep the priest then. We'll keep everything exactly like it is. Because that works for me. No thieves would join our party. For we had nothing valuable to steal. The stench of the mage's carcass drove away the bandits and the would be ruffians. Now only the noble will follow us down into the pits of horror to avenge our fallen friend. And I made the map go to the top of the screen, and I can't get it to come back down. It's gonna be a good day. Alright. Well, now that I've obscured the map, and can no longer see it, or bring it down... Because this controller... well, the controller's fine, it's just the way I program the controls in the PCSX are kind of wonky. I have a first encounter of the day. Ah, uh, Not you guys. We will flee like the cowardly dogs we are. We got nothing. Gibberlings. I do like the gibberlings. Uh, attack, attack, attack. Do nothing. 
Everything hits really hard in this game. Boink. Except that. Uh, well, we hit, we hit pretty hard, too. Do it, Roger! And Roger killed him, by the way. That's pretty cool. Fast break. I don't know what that means. Someone leveled up. Roger's kind of close to leveling up. I don't know if we should just go level them up now, but that costs money. Ah, wish I can get the map to come back down. That would be helpful. All right. Well, uh, let's go get Roger all rested up. I said, let's go get Roger all rested up. God damn it. All right, and we're back here. No, oh, this is Vigor's shop. Poop. I almost just want to, you know, cut the video off again. Perhaps it's giving me that issue I've been having these last few videos, and I don't know what the issue is, really. And it only started doing it recently, so I'm not really sure, but, uh... Perhaps just started really chugging on the frame rate if you've been recording for a little while, so I don't know what that is. Alright. Let's take a nap. And we wrapped the mage's body in a tarp, so that the plastic would quell the stench. All right, let's get the hell back out of here. Time to actually get to the real meat and potatoes of the adventure. The dungeon where I die. Over and over and over. And over. And twin rover. Oh, their save state here. Go slot 8 for no reason. Okay, okay. I almost touched the edge with the right control stick again and moved the map. Thankfully I didn't, though. So we still have the map. We can still hopefully find our way back around in that. Hello. Gibberling and a Slimer. Nothing too bad. Nothing that we can't handle, because we're manly men. Except the women. They're pretty manly too, though. Especially Roger. It's Roger! Boink. We're so good, he didn't even know he was dead yet. Well, this is certainly going better than last time. Win! That's how good it's going. It said my playing was win. Alright, so we're gonna go back to, I guess, where we were. And try to figure out where we're going. Yeah. Well, that was very philosophical of me. Maybe next time we should say if we go on a straight line, we'll end up ahead. And I should quit trying to be clever. I'm not very good at it, you know. Alright, we've been in here, apparently. Let's go back in here, then. Alright, that was the, uh, the locked door. I barricaded with the stuff and the stuff and the stuff. We got the little shadow demon thing over there. Alright, we have not been this way, so of course let's boldly go this way and see what uh, they have in store for us here. Nothing in that direction. Mmm, and what's here? Ah, uh, this just takes us back here, I guess. Alright, and up here is where we had the encounter with Hello. It's fuckbugs! Alright. With no strategy at all, we're just gonna wail on the attack button. There's no way I'm getting through this game. I can tell already, there's no way I'm getting through this game. It'll be fun while I can still plow through it, though. Roger! I really need to kind of set up a little point where I can kind of figure out at least some basic stuff. Take out the pixie, because she's a spellcaster. I'm surprised she didn't cast any spells last time, actually, now that I think of it. Oh, there we go. You don't disappoint me. Okay, that's Spleem, I think. Trying to prevent them from cast spells. But they both resist it, so it's fine. You go get him, Roger. Alright, we just got three of these guys left. 
Doink. Doink. Eh, keep missing these guys. But no one's close to death yet. Ah, poop. The knight is now incapacitated. Well, not incapacitated, but... She's useless to me now. Let's abandon her to die. She can't help me get the money to bring back the mage. She's not a team player. Doink. Ugh. Alright, we've got a few more level ups here, I think. Yeah, we got two people leveled up. Roger and Priest Lady, I think. And we got, I'm guessing, some spider silk or something over there. Don't even make sense to me. Alright, so... Did we go this way? Is this the way they were? And there's a little flyer up here. Well, this looks bad. So I don't know, maybe I have some trouble taking this guy out. So I'm just gonna have the uh fighters and such go on him and uh I don't know what he needs to do. Like okay, that's like that's probably beret or whatever it was called. And this is heal. And no one really needs healing right now. So we're gonna save that. Um I guess it's gonna have them do nothing. Oh shit, he's pretty hurt actually. No! We gotta get the healing juju on him, or he will die. Die in embarrassing ways. I gotta say, I love the design of everything in this game so much better than the other one, though. Well, maybe not everything. Oh, oh shit, they're, they don't have any spells anymore. Well, at least he's not being smart and attacking Flail now. That's me! And she's attacking Roger. Alright, that's one problem solved. Now if we can only take out the Pixie before things go bad. Okay, I think we're good. I think we got it. Alright, let's cast Heal on the Knigget. And the other Priest is... Okay, she's still... What? Son of a bitch. <sighs> Pile it on top of the mage. Use some strap ties to hold them together. Yeah, I don't have enough money to bring people back from the dead. I'm sorry. Now I've got a questionable axe that I'm going to give to... I will keep it. I think. Oh, damn it. I moved the mini-map again. <sighs> okay, this is the room where we had the encounter with the assholes. That's what they're called, you know. In, you know, in technical terms. So it's through here. I'm gonna stumble on the real boss fight in this- Hello! Yep, they probably just did. No, that's not quite boss fight music. What the shit. I don't like the new look for Jason. Okay, so, um, I'm hoping we're not gonna have to fight this guy. Maybe he just wants to sell me some stuff. Maybe he'll be nice. And he attacks! Nope, he doesn't. I'm amazed. I don't know what he wants. Apparently there's nothing else to do in here, so we should probably head out. How much? That's the library. I like the music here. Can't we just keep this one? No, 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 no. All right, here's our inventory and stuff. I said, here's our inventory and stuff. Okay. Level three. Everyone's level three. No, Roger's level one. That's why he's so, she's so terrible. Alright, um, what's this stuff? That's position. What's this stuff? Nothing. What's this stuff? Items! 
Now, I could probably equip that questionable axe. Um, which might not be a good idea, though, because it might be cursed. I don't know how heavy they're going with the cursed items in this game. We're dividing our attack. Um... Let's go ahead and bring the healing juice on to Roger, and, uh, I guess the priest is gonna do nothing. She's doing something horrible. Our offense just went down. She has... Okay, we got Roger healed up again, and the knight's getting punched in the face by Costa's brothers. Maybe we should have all focused on one. That didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. Alright, let's split the attack up again. Our priests are gonna do nothing because they have no ranged weapons, and the other one's actually dead. I guess that's a good excuse. Death is like the perfect excuse for everything. I mean, you're not really supposed to do, do anything when you're dead. You're just kind of dead. It's great. Get out of everything. And our offense is down again. And he's a face puncher. This is taking way too long. I'm actually kind of worried now because she keeps lowering our offensive abilities. And um, yeah, we're probably probably should leave <laughs> to be honest. To be fair though, the orcs are not really doing all that much damage, they're just being kind of annoying. So, it's not that bad. Doink! Doink! And of course he lives. And they both live, up one. Alright, fuck it, let's just all focus on the same guy and then they'll move on to someone else when they're done. We're gonna have to have the knight do his little turn undead ability, or whatever it was, to damage the undead guys. The deadies, as it were. And if we lose the knight, we're kinda screwed. Rawr! Alright, let's have the knight go ahead and do his, his thing. And everyone else is just gonna do nothing. One damage! Yeah, you better leave in slow motion because of lag. Anyway, this video is kind of becoming difficult to record. More than I wanted. Damn, these guys move fast. Oh, I didn't want to waste this. I kind of wonder if it's a wasted ability, if it's just something he can do. Or she can do, rather. Because there's no limit on it, that's obvious. But, then again, I can't really read any of this, so what the hell do I know? Okay, we're just gonna have them do their thing and beat up the orc. <laughs> Bye -bye. Alright, probably gonna do one more little encounter to level up the other guy. <laughs> Special hookah. And we have our other encounter right here perked for us. Oh god. It's these guys. Well, we're ready. Bring on the pain. I probably should have healed him, or her rather. Boink. Alright, we're getting the flies out of the way, at least. Bring a fighter, bring him, and have her heal the knight. We have higher initiative than slime. That's good, I guess. And 
and we're not doing shit for damage on this guy. I wonder if that uh, debuff on us is still there. Eh, well, he was decent at least. Oh, he one-shotted Roger. You killed Roger. I am in so much debt to the church now. Well, we've actually gotten behind in our ability to pay the church, and we're in another encounter that I'm probably going to try and run from. Party assault. Uh, they're friendly and we're going to leave. I'm guessing that's what that was. We left. You're damn right we left because we're cowards. Cowards who can't do anything useful. I think maybe we should just go back into retirement and be a cobbler or something. That wouldn't really be retirement. We should retire from adventuring and become a cobbler. How's that? We could make, like, shoes and cobblers. No, let's just leave. God damn it. Who untied my shoes? Run away! We ran away. We run away. We run away, apparently. Alright. No! No! God damn it! Pixies. And they're friendly pixies. I have no use for friendly pixies. The only good pixies are dead pixies, I always say. Good lord. Away! I should probably fight some of these guys that are easier, but I don't know. We're already kind of battered, and I don't want to risk getting one-shotted by somebody again. As things have not been going really well. So far we've lost two people, so... We started out with a $560 debt, or gold debt, or whatever the hell they use for money in this game. A 560 unit debt, and now we have probably a 1500 and something debt. It's only gotten worse. We are the worst adventurers ever. Away! I went back to using the headset for this. I don't know how much you guys care. I know my, uh... A friend of mine said I should go back to using the traditional mic, and I did for a while. But, I don't know, it's it's a lot easier for me to use the headset. I know it doesn't sound as good um, audio-wise, but it keeps my voice a lot more consistent because I'm not moving around. I move around a lot when I talk. I, I'm just one of the, I'm a very animated speaker. So, uh, when I'm talking, I'm moving around quite a bit, and I get further away from the microphone and closer to it. And it really kind of messes with your audio levels in the video. So I have to spend a lot of editing time trying to correct the audio levels and make sure it doesn't peak too high in certain places and whatnot. Um, with this, it doesn't sound as good, it sounds a lot more dead because it is. It doesn't respond as well to higher frequencies and well, lower frequencies either, but um, it is a lot more consistent on the volume. So um, if you guys have any opinions about that kind of stuff, I'd like to hear it because uh, I make these videos for you guys, really. So, um, if you have a preference on what microphone I'm using, just let me know. Alright. Where's the damn church? Can't we just, like, convert to their religion or something? Wouldn't that count, you know? How much money is our souls worth? Or are our souls... Oh, God damn it! never mind. You all think I'm funny about the head anyway. And I am. Can't afford to resurrect. Well, I can afford to. Nope, we can't afford to resurrect any of them. It's she's a priestess. Come on, you want to help one of your own? <sighs> We're hopeless. We're hopeless, guys. I'm hanging up my adventurer's cap. No longer shall I quest in Cesaria. And now I need a nap and some scotch. Well, at least I am making some progress in this game. 
Roger has gone up two levels at once because that's how cool Roger is. He's like, anyways. So I'm gonna call it again on this video. Uh, been about 30 or so minutes. I don't know how long it's gonna be after editing. And there's a vortex above the end. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and upload this, and I will see you guys in the next video, whatever that happens to be. Take care of yourself, guys.